Hi guys, how are you? Well, guess who has long nails? I do. My name is Asla Nakafero and I go by the beautician on all my social media platforms. Well, I have long nails because a friend of mine opened up a spa, so I went by to support her. And her spa is located in Chebando, Gaza Road, Akamwesi Mall. I've forgotten the shop number, but I think I'll put it in the comments down below. And yeah, so I decided to change the color of the nails. Oh, before I even go on, she has awesome treatments. For guys who are watching this or listening to this, go and do the citrus treatment or the yogurt treatment. God, you guys, these treatments are awesome. Anyway, she called me because she needed my feedback on these treatments. Guys, please head to that place. The treatments are awesome. For the ladies, honey, <laughs> you just want to do all her treatments and she gives champagne, so get your butt there. Anyway, let's go back to taking this color off. You know me, I like to change my nails as I please. So I'm going to change the color of the nails and the nail shape. So I'm filing off the color and there we are, it's off. And I've changed the shape of the nails to a squavo. Is that it? Yeah, I guess it's a squavo. And that's what they look like. The when what's the shape? Square. Square, yeah. Get your metallic applicator and some nail glue and apply it to the parts that you have filed down a lot. Well, I happened to file the color so much and I ended up reaching my nail. So I don't want an opening between my nail and the gel builder. So I put a bit of nail glue to seal it. I hope this comes in handy sometime in your life as you're doing a home manicure. That's why I'm letting you know how cool this trick is. Anyway, so you just seal those places so water doesn't get in. When water gets in, it lifts. Anyway, so that part is done. We're putting, um, what's it called? Biscuit or the base or the first color, <laughs> the first coat, sorry. <laughs> Asla, Lord. So after that, that coat, we work on, you must, you must be wondering, Asla, you didn't file off the color. Yes, I didn't because not that I was tired, but when you're building gel and it gets a depression, that's what happens. It happens to every nail tech. So. Not that it's a mistake or anything, but it happens. Anyway, you continue with putting the, the best cut. Then that's the curler I'd want to go with. I think I'm, I'm going to have different colors for each nail. So I will put a different color for each nail. And I want to work with nudes, browns, and gold. So... There we are for that nail. I'll be painting two different colors on the same nail. Okay, there we go. A very light see-through brown or a very light transparent brown and a very dark brown with shimmer in it. So that's a stamper and I'm going to use it to make a French. I've been seeing this all over TikTok and I thought I should get on to this. So you put the color, the color you want to use as the on your tip of the finger as the fringe for the fringe i don't know yeah that so you just press your finger in that stamper is rubbery so when i push in my finger it will the curve will form just like that you press in the finger or you can push it frontwards and then take it off there we are so i just kept doing that Feel free to like rotate it kind of or turn it sideways or press in your finger. Generally, point is achieving a nice, neat line. I feel this, I, this idea is so cool. <laughs> what do you guys think? I really liked it. I saw it on TikTok and I thought I should try it. So in between those two colors, I'll be putting a gold, a glittery gold that has an undertone that's orangey yeah so i think i liked it no i don't think i loved it so that's a yoga gel no it's not gel it's poly gel 
polygel is different from builder gel polygel has a different consistency actually it's a mix of both gel and acrylic so it's just perfect so i'm dabbing a little bit because i'm going to put a stud there so i get my stud i sit it right there the stud has a flat base so it sits neatly i used a bobby pin then i remember that's not right i have the tools and i got the tool and just pressed it on there got my top coat i put my last layer that's a it's just covering up the color and giving it a perfect shine and i do that for all the nails as you're painting be gentle when you're doing gel you don't need to reach you don't need to start exactly from where the nail starts you need to leave a, a bit of space so it looks cool yeah so let's go on to the other hand you guys working for my left hand to work on the right can be a challenge but i do my best and for some reason i end up liking that hand because i've done it so carefully it turns out right so you remember that part on the other hand two separate colors then later i'll put the gold in between the colors that's the stamper so i press in the finger so i make the tip more thicker than it was before there we go so i get some nourishing oil for my cuticles and just take it around the cuticles they've gone through hell okay not hell but <laughs> as i was filing down the other color i i don't know you just end up scratching them a bit so you need to give them some tlc so after that that's what the thumbs look like and pam 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 what do you think i love 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 this color i look like that expensive rich auntie a big shout out to everyone who has watched this video thank you so much thank you and i love you bye